Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to talk to Tyler in this video about campaigns. And more specifically, I wanna talk about what happens when you make a change to a campaign, you publish it, and you realize that all the changes you made were not what happened, so you need to get the old campaign back. So when someone's in that type of a situation, what do you do? Yeah, so we've had this come up in, in, our, uh, times. <laughs> in our group where they're like, oh shoot, I deleted something, or I wanna go back to the old version because it was working better, things like that. And it's actually really simple in Infusionsoft. So let's just hop in uh, right here on the campaigns list. I'm gonna go into this one-click upsell campaign. And we'll just pretend that uh, I'm in here screwing around and I'm editing some things. And for whatever reason, I decide to delete this sequence. And I decide to delete this sequence here. And then I realize, oh wait, that was a mistake. I need those back. Well, they're gone. I can't just recreate them, There's right? There's no undo button. There's no undo button. Um, but there kind of is. So under the actions drop down, you just click restore version and I can go back to the most recently published version if that's what I want and there they are. Everything's good to go. The other thing you can always do if you delete something, particularly if you delete something and you forgot what was there and what's actually running at the moment, you can always flip it over into reporting view. In reporting view, it'll show you what's live regardless of what's actually on the canvas in edit view because edit view shows you you know, of course, what's what's next if you if you go ahead and publish it. See, back in EditView, if I published it right now, it then those things would be gone. But in Reporting View, it shows me what's actually live. So these, those things are still there. And then, of course, like I said, I can go back, restore version, go back to a version that I want, get those things there. It shows them as not ready um, when you bring things back. Uh, they actually are running. If you go back to the most recent version, like I said, in Reporting View, that's exactly what's going on there. But because I'm kind of like, OCD with this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it anyways, just cause that, then everything turns solid dark green. And you know and it's I, ready. And I know that that's actually what's running. Right. Um, so I can do that on the most recent version or I can go back to an old version with, from way before if I knew that that one was working better than what's running right now and I can always restore back to that version. Now, do we know if there's a time limit? Like, can I go back to a version that's five years old or three years old? Absolutely, as long as it's been built in the campaign builder. And it shows in there you published it at one point. It'll have a version, okay. yeah. Great. If you're trying to go back to old legacy stuff before before the campaign builder was even in existence, that's not gonna work. Right. Uh, but yeah, anything in the campaign builder you can go back to. Okay, now let's take another situation. If I'm in the campaign builder, in the edit view, mm -hmm. and I delete those original sequences uh, that you had talked about, yep. if I delete those, if I go out of the campaign and come back in it, will those sequences be back for me? Um, no, so if you delete stuff, let's do it. We'll delete them. And then I go out and I go do some other stuff, and then I come back mm -hmm. and realize I've made a mistake because... Mm -hmm. They're gone. Still gone, right? Again, edit view keeps your current version of what you're working on. Got it. So if I restore, again, I can bring those back, or if I publish, then it's gonna publish without those sequences that I just deleted. Got it, perfect. Thank you awesome. so much. If you're looking for more tips like this and others to help you with Infusionsoft, just go to iloveinfusionsoft.com, and we'll talk to you then. Thanks, bye.